Hello guys, today I'm gonna just share my uh, super two uh, setup on this new car I have right here. For building this car, I'm just using some new idea and especially some kind of new setup, uh, including aluminum wheel, the new type of body damper system, and this hammer damper system. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the aluminum wheel first. This advantage of aluminum wheel it is it is really slow takeoff and the acceleration a little bit slow and um, uh, it is kind of heavy so um, but aluminum wheel also have its own advantage it is really stable on the landing especially when you jump and land it's really stable and the another advantage it is for the long truck you will realize aluminum wheel it was getting faster and faster and the speed maintain is pretty good okay um, and the next thing I want to talk about it is this new body damp persistent design. So notice there's a little bit complicated on the front. Okay, um, this is not like a traditional body damp persistent. Okay, you will see I make special cutting which is right here. Okay, so when this body damp persistent goes up and the drop, actually is hitting the front chassis right here okay it's giving more support when you when you call like a land okay because what happened to the most of the body damp system um, a lot of people they hitting the battery or either the side of of the chassis so this new design it is uh, making the body damp system hitting hitting this two point right here it makes more stable okay so you can see like this so this body damp system no longer hitting the battery; it is hitting the chassis. Because I think hitting the chassis, it is more uh, stable. Um, especially doing my test, like this type of setting, even without battery, it is really solid. Okay. And uh, this piece right here, this is another hammer damp system. Uh, it works same as body damp system. It is the different. It is just like uh, this is for the rear. Okay. So it's mounting on the two mounting point right here and connect to the little 6x6x32 by six by of the damper right here. Okay. Okay. So another thing when I build this car, of course, there's an underguard right here. So you can see it's blocked the, the bottom roller. Okay. So it's preventing the roller get caught. Also, this is protect the roller. And also for faster recovery when you get a caught on the side of the truck and here at the front same thing I have the same type of design and you will notice these little pieces right here it is uh, cover the school head right here to preventing the front get a cut right here and uh, you will notice the roller okay it is really close to the rear wheel because that's improving the uh, corner speed front same thing it is really short and that's why I can extend a little bit longer on the back okay another thing i want to talk about it is the the tire sitting again so the tire sitting the back i'm using the four size hard tire okay which is right here so this is for improving the grab okay so giving faster takeoff especially uh, uh, giving a lot of pushing and the front i'm using this low resistant which is this one right here the item number 95208 the low fraction low profile tire this is the tire i'm using on the front okay so as you notice i have little uh small pieces attached to it and the rest of it is a spongy tire okay and uh, let me give you a better angle you can see from this angle the spongy tire actually is not really touching it is just for the follow the regulation because regulation you have to having at least a millimeter a tire attached to the wheel so to follow the a millimeter regulation that's why i attach some uh um, the spongy tire just for follow the regulation but the real contact surface it is just the uh, the low fraction the tire which are these little pieces right here because um, this is for improving the corner speed you will notice the front really have very low resistance so when the corner is really slippy okay so this is giving a more corner speed especially i putting the tire really outside not inside the reason why I want to do that, I gonna give you. Uh, I want this tire have more grab because because wider uh, tire grab on the outside you have and it's giving more speed once takeoff, especially on the acceleration as well. 
uh, remember I talked about the uh, disadvantage of aluminum wheel takeoff slow acceleration slow and that's the problem of the aluminum wheel that's why I'm trying to using the full size on the on the back which is right here and a little bit wider design on the front so that's giving a lot of grab and also it's in the front of the sling design giving a lot of speed on the corner and for the gear setup actually I'm using 3.7 uh, ratio the uh, kind of like a high speed gear but it's not really 100% high speed this gear it is 3.7 it is giving a little bit more torque on the wheel so uh, remember uh, the uh, aluminum wheel it is take off a little bit slow so that's why it's giving a little bit more torque on the gear so in this case can improve a little bit speed on the corner and on the uh, takeoff and especially on the acceleration as well okay so the rest of them it is just very basic setting okay The transmission, uh, you will notice it is 40 ring force. Okay, so you got a, a little uh, pinning gear was pushing the uh, crown gear, which is right here. In the center, there's got a spacer try to block the uh, crown gears over, move to the other side. And of course, the propeller shaft is being fixed, the little edges on the tips. Okay, this is all the basic uh, like setup, which is I, uh, you can find on my YouTube channel. Okay, and uh, you notice another thing, and then the terminal uh, got a sponge right here, it's improving the contact surface, and uh, the body damper system right here. Um, I'm using the um, double support, which is right here. You can you will notice, and the the uh, the damper, the shaft right here. I'm using the two millimeter hollow propeller shaft from Super FM chassis. Okay, and um, the back, the roller again, you will notice that the bottom one I'm using the ringless and the top one I'm using the uh, low fraction, the plastic ring. So the reason I'm using the bottom is a little bit different than the top one because the bottom, because every single time you will notice is always have a lot of hit on the bottom. That's why the bottom roller you better use a little bit stronger one. So it's preventing and doing a race is getting keep get a car on the truck or either getting hit on the truck and this part is getting damaged okay so uh using the aluminum uh, ringless like such a this type of roller it is really really giving a uh, uh, your car can last longer especially the roller okay uh the front and i'm using the uh, double layer roller because i want it's more being stable so uh for the most of truck i mean double layer roller is pretty good okay as long as um you make sure the roller spin really good okay okay so rest of them it is let's go ahead like disassembly the car to show more detail on this car okay um i disassembly everything so here's all my parts for this car okay let's start from the front setting first front setting and this part i'll explain that's the two millimeter popsicle uh, with the double layer roller okay 13 to 12 millimeter and this part this part it is the underguard okay so this part actually it goes right here okay um this thing i'm pretty sure a lot of people notice it is 2015 the rear play which is this item right here the item number 95089 okay so you notice it is not like original shape uh basically i remove all this and all this and this so it looks like this right now okay so the reason I keep a little bit right here and a little bit right here, it is because um, I want these two left, left and right wing right here to block the school head, which is right here, to preventing it get a car on the side of the truck. Okay, so this is one, and right here, this is the FRP, okay, popsicle, which is this one right here. Um, this is my angle play. Okay, so this is giving an angle about five degree, um, the angle of the front roller. Okay, so I was using this um, toxic uh, like angle maker right here to make these little pieces right here. Okay, so I have a video for this one. You can go to my YouTube channel to search for the keyword angle maker. Okay, so moving to the next, it is a body damper system right here. Okay. So the the left and the right arm, it is the carbon fiber uh, 1.5 millimeter popsicle. So 
So we choose this item right here, item number 15495, okay? And uh, the middle part, which is right here, this is support right here. It is the item number 94954, okay? So you notice, basically I cut the left and right wing and remove all this and only keep this part right here. So this is how it looks like right now, okay? So this two little extension right here, it's become my support, which is for right here. So it's using I using this two extension to hitting the front of the chassis, which is right here, this point right here. Also, this is giving a support on the regular, you know, uh, when the when the bar depth systems are moving. You see uh, this little two point right here is giving a little bit of support for the front. Okay. And the next, the damper holder, which is these two pieces right here. So this is the item number 94970, okay? Um, as you can see on um, this item right here, you will notice this is a little piece I'm using. So basically I remove the bottom pieces. I only keep the, a little bit right here. Okay, so this is the piece I keep. And this is the, after cutting, it looks like, like this, okay? Okay, moving to the next, make sure you're having the uh, model support, which is this one right here, okay? And next, this is two millimeter uh, roller stay, and this is for my back roller setting. And also using a model shaft, okay, to mounting my roller, okay? So moving to next, this is the uh, three point attachment support. And um, it's come from the package item number 15. 412 this is the one okay so basically i remove the top right here this part right here so after this it looks like this okay and this little piece right here this is my uh bottom support okay this is also for the roller support on the back like this okay right here this is the item number uh 94903 and as you notice it is right here this little piece is right here i remove all this and then this and try to reduce them much as much as possible okay and also uh this hole right here the mounting point right here it is the another hole i made myself i cut another hole right here because i wanted this little thing right here the uh plate and then getting close as possible to the uh rear wheel like this okay so this case and short lot of, um the short back distance so this is improving the corner speed. That's why uh, it's not like a regular setting. Regular setting people mounting right here, you will notice the difference. The roller actually is kind of away from the rear wheel. So if I put a new, um, if I move to the new mounting point, which is I made, and the the roller is gonna be very close to the rear wheel like this. Okay. So this is improving the corner speed. Okay, right here. And moving to the next. I got this little pieces right here. This is my underguard, okay? So this underguard actually, this underguard it is item number 95072, okay? So here's the, the shape after I made it, like this. So remove all the left and right wing and it makes looks like this. So next, moving to the next, there's a hammer damper system on the back, okay? So this is also made by the item number so this is also made by the item number 15495 and basically I'm using one piece I cut to half and of course trim off the extra pieces I don't need it like this okay and this is the uh, 6 by 6 by 32 uh, damper okay right here so here we go this is the damper looks like this is actually look at it right here this is actually it is six by six by thirty two. Sorry, the number was got a cover, but this is the damper looks like. And this is limited edition. This is a regular version. I forgot what's the item number, but uh, you know you can basically very easy to find a market. And you will notice the little screw right here. Actually, um, I'm doing same thing right here. I make this hole a little bit bigger. So in this case, the screw head can hide into the damper right here. Okay. So normally this screw head is stick out. But after I modify this little hole right here, makes it a little bit bigger, so this screw head can easily to hide into the uh, the little damper bar right here, like looks like this. Okay, so here come to the next. It is the uh, my brake system on the back. Okay, so this is actually again this item number one five four nine five. Okay, so um, I 
open one package and cut one of the package to half so making these two little support right here and this is another pieces and I remove the a little bit left and a little bit right because I don't want this one too long and then stick out so this is gonna be looks like okay so this piece is gonna be mounting like this okay so the top of that is roller stay looks like this so this is the whole system looks like looks like this okay here's everything so moving to next I'm gonna using 10 times fast play to put everything back to the original looks like okay so in this case you have idea how I set up my car